today we're going to be talking about how to solve equations by multiplying and dividing. One thing that I want to remind you of is in order to solve equations by multiplying and dividing, we have to remember inverse operations. And remember, inverse operations basically means opposite of. So, if you remember in our solving equations by adding and subtracting, I suggested that you solve equations by t-charting. And you can also use this t-charting strategy when you are solving equations by multiplying and dividing as well. So let's take an example. Let's do example one. I have 5x equals 20. Remember, anytime you have a number next to a variable, it's really an invisible multiplication. So we're going to t-chart, just like I mentioned. So you're gonna draw a line through your equal sign and then make your upside down t. Now, what is the, since the five and the, and the variable x are being multiplied by each other, what is the inverse of multiplication? Well, that is going to be division. So I'm going to divide both sides by five. What is five divided by five? That is one. So here is your one x, and that's gonna equal 20 divided by five, which is gonna be four. And I can easily check this. Is five times four, does that equal 20? Yes. If I plug my answer back into my original equation, I should get the original answer. Let's try another one. Example two. 3x equals 27. So again, I'm going to draw a line through my equal sign and make my upside down t. Okay, so what is the inverse of 3 times x? That's going to be divided by 3. So I have 3 divided by 3 is 1x. And what is 27 divided by 3? 9. So again, I can plug this back in. So I have three times nine. Does that equal 27? Yes, it sure checks out. Okay, so let's do example three. I have x divided by two equals negative 10. So a fraction automatically means division. So we can t-chart again, put a line through your equal sign and draw the top of your upside down t. Now, what is the, op what is the inverse of division? Multiplication. So we're gonna multiply both sides by two. Two divided by two over here is one x, and you can cross this out if you want. What is negative 10 times two? negative 20. And if you wanted to go ahead and check your answer, I'm going to plug negative 20 back into my original equation. What is negative 20 divided by 2? Does that equal negative 10? Yes, it does. All right, one more example. x divided by negative 4 equals negative 4. So we can go ahead and t-chart here. What is the inverse operation of divided by negative four? Well, we're going to multiply by negative four to both sides, because remember, your equations must be balanced. So this cancels out and you get your one x, because negative four divided by negative four is one. And what is negative four times negative four? Positive 16. So you can go ahead and double check that, positive 16 divided by negative four, does that equal negative four? Yes, it does.